All right, this I've been following for a while now because I have been into the health of kids and people in general. And it all relates to bacteria and how they poop. Literally, it's, it boils down to how you poop. If everything's smooth and it's all, you have a nice, good formed stool and you don't have indigestion and bloating and a lot of gas and you know, cramps and pain in your stomach, acid reflux, anything within your digestive system doesn't work right, you're in trouble. And what will fix that? In most cases, probiotics. And kids are now becoming literally mentally ill. And we may be able to help this very, very simply. Now listen to this now. This is PBS. I've been watching this. Ken Burns is doing a special or has done a special about this. Listen toll on all populations. Now doctors and clinicians have become especially concerned about the youngest victims. Later tonight, Ken Burns' film, Hiding in Plain Sight, Youth Mental Illness, premieres on PBS. The NewsHour's student reporting labs, podcast hosts, Matt Suskin and Faiza Azhar spoke to Burns about a film he hopes can save lives. Hi, Ken. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you so much for having me. You are the executive producer for a film that's coming out this June called Hiding in Plain Sight about youth mental health. I couldn't make sense of the emotions. Why am I acting this way? When I'm mad on the inside, I'm mad on the outside. When feelings really interfere with their everyday ability to live, that's a challenge. I'm, I'm really proud of the film. I think it will save lives. It's so critically important because there's an epidemic, not just among young people, but across the board as a result of the pandemic and just the challenges of a, of a modern life also. All right, Ken Burns, I, I applaud you, my friend, and thank God for people like you. Here it is right here. Stomach issues in kids may signal future mental health problems. They did the study. They know that this is true now. They just don't understand why. They, they, they have to understand it's the bacteria breaking down the products. If you don't have the products, your body gets crazy trying to, to get what it needs. My friend's son, and my friend is, is a, he's a really smart guy, he owns his own business, he, you know, he does quite well, he's well off, and his son, they couldn't get any help for his son at all. His son was aggressive, he was violent, he was all kinds of things. And we never knew this, this goes back quite a long time ago. And he, just recently I spoke to him and I told him about all these gut issues. He says, you know, it's, my son had all that same stuff. He says, and when they're constipated, and I found out when it's constipation causes really aggressive behavior and, and other issues with the digestive system cause other types of behaviors. It's as simple as that. You're not getting the types of chemistry. Now, his son was so bound up and I swear this is true. He told me that he let go of, of a turd one day and he was so hard that he had to take the toilet apart to get it out. He had to take the toilet right off the floor then get up inside because it was just like a brick stuck in there. Now, and his son was a great, he was terrible. Then he said, guess what? He said he sent, they sent him off to a really good school. They tried everything with him. And you know, he's, he has a ton of money, so money was not an issue. There was just nothing they could do. Uh, but they didn't understand. And, but he went off to school somewhere. And he said he went off to school, and within a couple of weeks, he was like a new kid. And he said he didn't, they didn't do anything that he knows of. But I bet you something in the environment there, something he ate, something they were serving him at this particular school was correcting his stomach issues because he said that also happened. This is the problem. Well, it's not everybody's issue. But I certainly damn sure would start there. All right, I'm going to just make this ultra simple. You need to have the correct bacteria in your gut all the way down to react to the chemistry that goes all the way down. You're going to be eating acids and salts and meats and blood and all kinds of things and you're going to get contaminated every single day there is no way in the world that you can stop from eating some, something that could invade you absolutely no question whatsoever now are you, normally you might have just a tiny little bit of it it's, it's going to be able to get taken care of in most cases even with a weak immune system 
But if you get attacked by something like this new COVID, you have no immune system to it because you're, you don't recognize it. You don't, really, you don't even know it exists. Your body says, oh, that's nothing, don't worry about it. I said, whoa, whoa, what's eating through my collagen over here and my lungs are collapsing. And I said, oh, yeah, you got, you're got. you right, we got a problem. Go attack the hell out of it. And then all of a sudden you have what's called a cytokine storm where you don't know how to deal with it, so your body sends every single chemical it's got after it and it destroys your body and then you die from the response. You should never have these issues if your gut is correctly coated with these bacteria inside this interstitial membrane. And these are single cell organisms. They have a flagella. They're like little rocket ships. They call it now the fluid-filled highway. They go flying right to where the invader is and kill it almost instantaneously. I mean fast. Just think of if you take some kind of a drug, how quickly it goes all through your body. And I mean, it's within 10 minutes, you have a very good response to most pain medication and so forth, which I've been taking, you know, a leave is what I've been taking. It works very well. It lasts for about eight hours. And it takes about 10 minutes to all of a sudden get a good, you know, I had so, shoulder surgery and a really bad shoulder injury, and it's still really bad, but I'm hoping it'll get better. <laughs> That's all you could do. I guess it's a, it's a, one of these things. It was a, um, he called it a massive rotator cuff injury. Anyway, this, if you don't have the right re stuff to respond to anything in your body that needs chemistry, it, it can't be done. And the bacteria is what creates these enzymes. Enzymes create chemical reactions that speed up something in your body by millions of times. So they go, and all of a sudden it's the chemistry's done. Where it would take a year for that thing to change, which they would. They change by themselves. But the the enzyme goes right in there and says, we need this right now, go get it. We need glucose, we need oxygen, we need this, we need that. And that's all done in the gut brain connection. Now, all I'm asking is to try to restore the gut microbiota. And if they've ever had any inoculations, which I know they have, the MMR vaccine appears to create some gut distress. Um, but I, this is not overcomable. You, you just need to, to, to replace the damaged bacteria because the bacteria is going to be on the surface primarily on the surface if you're eating things that could just go past it it can kill that good bacteria but that good bacteria has to be on the surface it's not and inside the membrane it's a little bit tricky but and there's new procedures now that we're working on I'm, I'm working with a bunch of people on this trying to help the um, Gulf War veterans that were damaged by these burn pits. Because think about what happens in a burn pit. They're burning everything, battery acid and tires and paint and, and plastics and acids and salts and every kind of thing you can imagine. They just put it in a pile and burn it. Now these guys have to stand around, inhale that. So everything on their body that touches the air is already contaminated and killing the bacteria that's supposed to be living there. Because you have bacteria everywhere in your body, 100%. 100%. Under every bit of your skin, there's bacteria living in there that is supposed to protect that layer of skin. And then the inside of you is nothing but a layer of skin inside out. And you have bacteria all living in there, too. And not only does it live there to protect you from things, it lives in the digestive system to break down the products to, so that you can absorb them. So if you don't have the right bacteria in there, you will become obese. And you say, well, well, how would that happen? Well, it's because your body knows what you need to survive and be healthy. And if it can't get it, it will say, try some more. Just keep eating whatever you can eat until you find something that's doing a job. And if your bacteria is not there, it's never going to happen. So you're just going to keep putting on more and more weight as you are trying to establish a healthy intake of minerals and vitamins and so forth. And the body says, hey, you've got to so get some B3. So well, I don't have any of this lecto, whatever it was, and you can't get it. 
and they just they just linked 13 major cancers to this this situation. It's all digestive issues and it links to obesity. All right, the kids, and even if the kid's not obese, if he has any distress in the gastrointestinal area, you got an issue. And probiotics, I would, you know, I'm not saying anything because I'm not a doctor, but I, we had a ton of success with people that are in the, on my channel. And there's about 150,000 people. There's not, not too many of them are active. I gotta be honest with you, very few people. But the ones that are, are very interested in understanding reality. They're not just out for thrills. And they are finding out they've, they've cured themselves, they've cured their kids, they've helped a lot of people. And that's the whole idea of this thing. I don't want any money out of it. I don't, couldn't care less about that. And neither does Marguerite, who is starting a school to help the autistic kids that were, were damaged by a lot of reasons, but it's all primarily got to do with bacteria. Right now, that's the big, 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 big thing in medicine. And if you miss it, you're missing the ball.